Today we answer, can a circle lead veto the decisions of another role? Hey, it's Jonathan helping you work better together with self-management and in this case, Holacracy. So uh, there's a question on the Holacracy community of practice. And the question is, following the golden rule and considering that the, per that the lead link holds the purpose of the circle, is it legal for lead link to veto roles decisions if lead link thinks it's better? This question comes from Dan Quick, um, and it seems a reasonable question. So before we get into it, um, I want to talk about what the golden rule is for those that don't know. And in the Constitution, it says um, that when filling a role, you have the authority to take any action or make any decision that you reasonably believe is useful to enact your role's purpose or accountabilities in service of the organization as long as you don't break any rules defined in this Constitution. So that brings up the question of, can a lead link just unilaterally decide to um, revoke someone's decision or, or go back on someone's decision? So I'd say yes, it's legal. There's no rule against it in the Constitution, and so it doesn't violate the Golden Rule or any other rule. However, it's not the best way to get things done. Um, the lead link can override the decision of another role just as easily as any other role can. There's nothing special about the lead link in this case, except that, uh, as Dean pointed out, they hold the purpose of the circle. A better approach is to use the fact that you have roles and you can have discussions about those roles to talk to the person and ask questions that might lead them to, uh, to, to seeing your conclusion. So instead of seeing something that's wrong, that you think is wrong, and overriding it, a better solution is to talk to the person and see if they, you can get alignment with them. And one outcome might be that they see it your way and they do something differently. And once they do, they can hold that into the future. So you've now, um, I don't use the word empowered, but you've now given them the insight to make a decision that is consistent with the decision you would make. That's one advantage. The other advantage is that they might have some realization that you don't have. They might know something you don't. So it's actually potentially dangerous for the lead link to override the decision of another role. A good circle lead won't go in and just override the decisions of another role, except maybe in an extreme case where time is of the essence or there's some emergency, in which case it makes sense. And in that case, it doesn't matter if it's the lead link or another role because you can act according to the rules of individual action. Now, if a lead link did do something like this, this would also create tensions for other roles. And given that all roles have many pathways to process their tensions, that would eventually get processed. So even if something happens in a holacracy-powered organization that seems out of whack or inconsistent, as long as you're practicing holacracy and people have the power to process their tensions, it's okay. It'll get resolved one way or another, and the system will naturally continue to process tensions. In this case, a role filler might say, gosh, this lead link is not a good lead link. I would like to have somebody else filling this role, and they can go to the lead link of the super circle or go to that rep link or use another course of action. Now, if a role filler is consistently making bad decisions and just doesn't seem like a good fit, the lead link absolutely has the authority to take that person out of the role and, and fill the role themselves or put someone else into the role, which is something that you see fairly often. But it really isn't good for the lead link to just override people's decisions willy-nilly. Um, for one, it creates a, a bad environment psychologically while not being expressly disallowed by the Constitution. It's just an unpleasant environment to work in and it doesn't increase the circle's capacity to fulfill its purpose. Not nearly as much as talking to the person and aligning. So we just answered the question, can a circle lead override the decision or veto the decision of another role? I hope this was useful. It's my wish that you're successful on your self-management journey and let's work better together.